For many years on Football Manager, I have chosen Brazil as my shopping centre for wonder kids and bargains. However, there's a new hot and sexy country in town that in this FM has really changed my opinion. But before I tell you why Colombia is now my go-to place for shopping wonder kids and for sending my scouts, I want to know what your main country is that you like to send your scouts to in your saves. Before I inevitably change your mind and you all pick Colombia. Trust me, this whole video is going to be persuading you that Colombia is the best place to go to. Now, although Brazil, of course, have far greater number of players who have potential ranges or fixed potentials in the game, these are now extremely hard to purchase because of how high, highly priced these clubs set their releases at. And unfortunately, you have to spend a good 10 to 15 million pounds before you just pick up one of them. And in fact, Colombia for potential ranges only have three players that are based in Colombia and you can see them on the screen here. And of course, they're only at the 160 potential range. First off, we have Fabian Angel, who is 19 years of age. You can pick him up for around about two million pounds. Centre-back Yerson Mosquera is also on this list, 19 years of age, not a good current ability, but he does have great potential, again, for around about £2 million. And then we have 20-year-old attacking midfielder Jaminton Campaz, who you can see you can pick up for around about £2.4 million. But before you switch off because you think I've gone absolutely mental, stick around for what I reveal later on. We will now go and look at some players who aren't necessarily won the kids, but still very good value for money, like this man, Duvan Vergara. The Colombian league itself is littered with great talents that cost you very little money, such as Duvan Vergara, 23 years of age, and he can be bought for less than £1.5 million. Pound. He stands in, as you can see from the in-game editor, at a current ability of 137 and a potential ability of 145, which is a lot higher than the most of the Premier League mid-table players. Next, let me introduce you to Jarlin Barrera, again an attacking midfielder who you can purchase for 775k. He has a current ability of 131 with a potential of 142. And now Alvaro Montero, a 6 foot 5 goalkeeper who again costs 750k with a current ability of 130. He also has a potential of 155 and being that he is 25 and a goalkeeper, this kind of means if you give him the game time with good facilities, he should actually reach that full potential. He also has 15 professionalism, meaning he will train well to help him get to that maximum potential. So that's six players that you can probably pick up for around the price of eight to 10 million pound, which is the usual cost of a cheap Brazilian wonder kid for just one of them. But I am not done proving my point yet. We're gonna take a look at my Holstein kill save, which has now finished the youth to gold on twitch.tv forward slash Megaloo Gaming, meaning we have started a new save, which by the way, you can catch up on the second channel, the link down below for the second channel. All of the live streams will be replayed back on there. And of course, the journey mum, which we have started. There's three episodes on that as I'm re as I'm recording this. And if you want to watch it live, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, Twitch.tv forward slash Omega Loop Gaming. Anyway, at Hosting Kill, we have Colombian players loaded at the start of the game, meaning we've been getting through uh, a lot of regens when they replace players such as that and after one year they managed to produce this insane goalkeeper arguably he is the best goalkeeper in the world but wait till you see how cheap he was yes you are reading that correctly nine thousand pound what makes him even more special is the club that he come from i'm pretty sure i looked up was in the third division the colombian lower division and i've never even heard them before somehow we managed to pick him up from that club just by having colombia loaded nine thousand pound look how good he actually is if we take a look at the in-game editor which i've only bought since finishing this save don't you worry i didn't cheat we can see his current ability is 172 and his potential of 190 and he hasn't even reached obviously his potential yet 14 professionalism he will get there eventually he's 24 still a long way to go but he is still one of the best goalkeepers in the world a champions league winning goalkeeper for nine 
£1,000. And every single season as a goalkeeper, he produced a 7 or over average rating. So start scouting Colombia. Now, if we actually take a look at my full team, we have a few more of these Colombian players that I have managed to pick up for a very cheap price. There's two million pound one there for a really good right back. Uh, this young talent left winger could be something if we actually played him a lot more, 1.4 million. We have Javier Luna, a really good right back, a solid right back for 19 years of age. Again, 2.1 million pound. We've even loaned him back with a fee back to the same club. Diego Castaño, Again, could be something if we used him. Some really good uh, attributes to begin with there. Again, £2 million. We're just going to turn them over for profit. And then we have this man who I just most recently picked up, Andres Veron, and he is an absolute monster. 6'2", really good 18-year-old defender with 18 tackling. £1.5 million is his value. We picked him up for £2.1 million. We're loaning him out to another Bundesliga team already, so he's Bundesliga ready. And if we take a look at him, his attributes here and his potential range, he has the potential ability of 173. Colombia is basically a cheat code. You buy incredibly cheap players, you either use them and they play well for you, or you end up selling them on for huge profits. But now we're going to go into the nitty gritty side of Football Manager and we're going to look a little bit behind the scenes to see why Colombia is producing this very high amount of regens. And this is where I think this video gets extremely interesting. Now on the pre-game editor, Brazil have the highest youth rating with 163 out of 200. Colombia actually only have a youth rate of 117, which means they are significantly less than Brazil in this hidden attribute on the game. But if we go to clubs based in Brazil, 25 clubs have a youth importance rating of 20 out of 20. But Colombia have 97. In Brazil, there are two clubs with a youth recruitment rating of 20 out of 20. But in Colombia, there are three. Brazil have two clubs with youth facilities of 15 out of 20 or higher. But in Colombia, they have five. And in youth coaching, Brazil have one team with Palmeiras that has 15 or above. And how many do Colombia have? They have seven. Seven clubs that have youth coaching of 15 or above. But let's combine all four of these hidden club attributes together because having one is not going to be much use if you don't have the other. So if we do a search for youth coaching, youth facilities, youth recruitment and youth importance of 15 or above, how many do Brazil have? Palmeiras is the only club in Brazil that has 15 in all of these things. So when you are scouting for these wonder kids and regens or new gens to come through in Brazil, there is really only one club that should be producing the best players out of them. We know that's not genuinely the case, but with all of those factors in place, just one club. But what about Colombia? Colombia have five clubs with 15 or above in all four of those hidden attributes in their clubs, including a semi-professional team, Carlos Sarmiento Laura, who I've never heard of in the lower division that has more attributes in these categories than let's say Santos, Corinthians, Sao Paulo, Cruzeiro, Flamengo, all of those Brazilian clubs that you normally go to to find your wonder kids. If we actually apply this to other nations as well, Argentina only have one club with 15 or above in all four. Germany have three and Italy have two, meaning Colombia has more clubs than all three of those nations, which you think would be better than Colombia at giving you regens or new gens. In fact, the only nations that can match or better Colombia's amount of clubs are France, England, Spain, Holland, and Austria. All nations, if you are trying to buy the hottest prospects, would be trying to give you very hefty transfer fees. And they probably wouldn't even want to come to you unless you are at least a club in the latter stages 
of a Champions League. And this is what makes Colombia, in my opinion, the best nation on the game. So make sure you are loading Colombia as a nation on every single database you do whenever you start a new game. Send your scouts there and then thank me for this information by smashing that like button. 500 likes and I will do another video on some more clubs where hidden attributes for those wonder kids are very, very high. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.